anything besides the front end of this golf. But this is the golf. Um, bubble's finally done, as you saw in the last episode. Now we're going to start tackling this thing. Um, so I'm going to, yeah, so you can see the front end of the golf. Pull you guys off here. Basically, what we're going to be doing today, we'll jack up the back end too, get it up on some blocks or something. And we're going to probably start tackling the brand new exhaust. If I grab the key that I brought out of the car. See if I can do this one-handed. Been accumulating parts for this thing for a couple weeks now. Putting your struts in there. I didn't film that, but I put those in because it was easier. Cardboard to lay on down here, ran out. New exhaust. Brake parts are up on that shelf there. Um, some other miscellaneous stuff. I've collected some parts off of other cars to put in it. So I'm gonna get all this junk unloaded and then we'll get to work. We're gonna start going over all the parts we have here. So this big box here is the exhaust. So in case you were wondering, you can fit an entire exhaust for a golf inside of it. Came with clamps and everything. Should go right together. Um, what else did I get? I got the struts obviously, like I talked about. Um, brake calipers are up there. Here, it's not in its box because I was messing with it already. This is a new cam position sensor. Needs one of those. Um, I've got a timing belt on the way for it because they're going to do a timing belt while we're in there because we have to pop that pulley off to do the cam position sensor. I'll get that done. And then there's some door switches and miscellaneous other little parts. Uh, so I'm going to start working under the car. I don't think I can film it because you won't be able to see anything. But I'm going to start under there getting everything torn apart. And then throughout this, we'll have more time lapses and doing stuff like brakes that's easier to film. Change of plans. I think I'm going to finish tearing this door card apart. I started, that's why it's all floppy. Uh, we're replacing those switches down there, the door switches, um, and that light. So I'm going to finish pulling this apart. I'll throw you guys on the time lapse so I can let the exhaust cool off because I had to drive it here. So we'll get to work on this. Let's go. So I got this apart, as you can see, or I don't know if you can see, but I know, someone's had this thing apart. A, I know they replaced the speakers in it. Um, you can see there, here's their speaker wiring. Um, not terribly done, actually. The sound system in this thing is amazing. It's really good. Um, but this is one of those lights I need to replace. This little light is supposed to be up here and it's just coiled up and electrical taped. So I'll see if I can fix that. How much of the door clips are missing? And as you could probably see, the door card was really falling apart. So I think I'm either, I might have one that I can uh, throw in here. I can't remember if I've gotten rid of them or sold them all. I'll have to look into it. But I can also repair that pretty well. And I'm thinking of getting, I think for like 30 bucks, I can get all the uh, fabric parts of this door um, to replace it. So I think I might look into that, depending on how much I have into the car. Right now we're just going to plug this in and see if, my stuff that didn't work works. Like A, this driver window. Because it didn't go down. Um, I need the key. There's the key. There's also a connect, couple connectors in here that aren't plugged in anymore. I think, I'm trying to remember what, trying to figure out what they are. I think this one might be the power mirrors. Okay, well, let's get something going on in. That's not its key. This is the I'm gonna jet again. Too many of these cars. Man, it's getting confusing. There we go. Now, before I couldn't put. There we go. The rear or the rear driver side window. I was able to put down from the front. I could not put up. That works now. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna be tearing apart the doors because I think this motor's done. I'm not exactly sure, but this window still doesn't work, so we're gonna have to look into that. Once I figure that out. Everything else seems to work and that works. So next, I guess I'll start tearing this door apart and seeing what I can do. Uh, yeah, I'll tear this door apart and see what I can do.
perfect, guys. I think I just figured out why this window doesn't work. So I've got the glass out, I've got the panel out, and here's the, I think this is called the regulator. Um, basically the inner door panel with all the mechanism on it. So it's cable driven from this box here, and I proved the motor works fine by just disconnecting it from the box here. Uh, this cable seems fine, everything looks good. You come over to this one, and it looks like a bunched up mess. So I'm sure you can get just this cable, and I don't really know what happened to it to cause this, but I've got a couple extra doors with, um, with all the parts. So I think I'll just take this whole, whole, ah, crash, has the whole door card out of one of them and drop it in here. Uh, but for now, I'm either gonna have to start taking that apart or go find something else. All the wiring here and the glass is just over there and it's kind of freaking me out. So I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with this real quick and I'll be back. All right, guys, the door is very far from being fixed. Um, I got this regulator out of this thing and I had to drill this screw because I couldn't get it to release the window. Um, and then try and put the pulley from this one on this. The whole thing came apart, all these, and I cannot figure out how to get it together. So I'm gonna have to look into how to do that. Um, but I did get the exhaust out. So let me move this junk out of the way. these parts we've got part one this thing's heavy man and part two this is supposed to be one part but you know field exhaust this thing is coming apart it's actually fairly solid still new ex oh, old exhaust out i have to get this hanger off the old exhaust still i'll probably end up cutting it while it's out of the car Zip right through it with an angle grinder. But now, let's pull out the new exhaust and take a look at it, and I'll get you guys on the tripod. You gotta grab the key, because I can't pull out the trunk without the door working. There's no electronics in this door anymore. It's just the door. Okay. So, here's came with these clamps. These are just standard exhaust clamps. Nothing special about them. But then, this is basically looks like a stock one. Um, this piece here, so this is a two piece instead of a one piece like the stock one was. And this midsection here. So this goes to the cat, this end goes to muffler and it looks like I'm gonna have to get a couple of couplers as well for this thing. Also, yep, I need probably two inch connectors and I need a new connector for between this and the cat now because it kind of came apart so I thought it's probably my next step is gonna be going and getting some parts but here we go one piece two piece these two pieces being replaced by these but I need to get some um, so how this guy goes is this ends up there. The problem is those are the same diameter. Instead of being kind of like this guy, this slides. It's actually too big, but you kind of get the idea. It slides over and then clamps. This is a Northeastern exhaust. Not that it really matters too much, I don't think. So I think I'm going to end up running into, well, depending on what time it is, I'm going to end up running into town and grabbing some more stuff. You know what guys, I completely spaced something, but this thing's straight piped right now, which means we need to start it up. So um, I'm going to do that real quick. Basically race car now. Don't have any door cards and it's straight piped right. See if it'll start. It's and having not wanting to start things recently because of timing. Oh. guys so sorry for this footage quality i'm just using my webcam real quick uh this is gonna be where the video ends i've gotten a bunch of work done on the golf got some filming done i haven't edited it yet though um 
and kind of where the videos have been recently is uh, my computer, it's actually sitting over here, uh, being unsupported and old finally stopped exporting videos so I wasn't able to export any of the videos I'd filmed and edited so I uh, got a new computer here should get these videos rolling out again and the heads the heads so excited we've been talking to the guy on the phone um, machining's done I think they're gonna ship this week we're just finalizing everything we need for him because we're getting the clutch from him and some other parts uh, I actually have the quotes over here uh, me and my dad were looking at him so uh, that should be coming up soon hopefully we get this golf done and then can get all the other projects done and there's a lot going on right now so thank you guys for watching um, sorry for the video deficiency and see you in the next one